Hi friends. The librarian loaned me an amazing story about llamas that's super funny. Um, if you haven't checked out llamas, I will try and share a National Geographic clip with you. And when you get a chance, llamas are in the alpaca family. And the Taylor um, Petting Zoo on Northline and Party has an amazing pair of alpacas that were super friendly and they didn't spit as much as uh, the llamas I had seen. This is Llama Destroys the World, written by Jonathan Stutzman, and the illustrator is Heather Fox. I'm going to move my chair so I can bring those pictures up closer. And this is a story about days of the week and taking over the world. And of course, some of our favorite sometimes sweets like cakes and cupcakes. Here's our dedication page to Christian and Elena for helping us destroy the world. So it starts off a little funny. I promise you're going to love it. On Friday, oh, that's like two days away, Llama will destroy the world. I am a Llama, proclaimed the Llama. Monday, hmm. on Monday, Llama found cake, piles of cake, more cake than any Llama should ever eat. Debt said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. This reminds me of the hungry caterpillar. This is what happened. This was his first mistake. Burp. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. Now one of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing, so Llama put on his dancing pants. But the pants did not fit because he was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants because they made his rump look groovy. So Llama huffed and he puffed and he squeezed and he stuffed himself right into the pants. Now this was his second mistake. And then Llama danced and he jiggled and he tangled and he cha cha real smooth. That reminds me of Cha Cha Slide. We like to dance too. But while his rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants, they never had a chance. Rip. Now, when I spell rip, I usually only just use three letters R I P. Rip. But the author wanted us to read them loud and stretch it out. So she doubled two R's, two I's, two P to say rip. Now the rip was thunderous, and it shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. <gasps> what do you notice here? I see the same three letters. It starts with R, R and then in the middle ones are I's, and then it ends with P, P's. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Now, if you know about outer space, that's a huge vacuum. Our word says rip and into the hole. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Wednesday, just like today. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. That, said Llama. Well, I don't see a black hole here. I wonder. We've got another character down here. Little Piggy says for science, we've got a rabbit up here with a net. The butterfly's above it, but I wonder what they're up to. The author tells us he had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there, just waiting to be discovered. So Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data. He came to a well thought out conclusion. Debt, said Llama wisely. But instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen next? Thursday, that's tomorrow. We're going to wear crazy hair and some crazy clothes and have a lot of crazy fun, but I don't think it involves turtles. I see lots of turtles and I see a black hole. 
On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. There were flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Lama didn't notice. I wonder why he didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting. Lama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. And notice his um, palette down here has the colors red, yellow, and blue. And it looks like he's painting a self-portrait. Like you like to draw of yourself. <gasps> Friday! On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama, he says. Hmm. Well, the black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Oh, no. Until there was nothing. Llama's here. I am Llama, is what the author wrote. Saturday, a home day for us. On Saturday, the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Lama, I am Lama, proclaimed Lama. Now the sky was blue and the sun was shining and the world was perfectly calm like nothing ever happened. Hmm. Sunday. Another home day for us. On Sunday with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. This looks like pumpkin pie to me. Piles of pie, actually. More pie than any Llama should ever eat. Dat, said Llama. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Llama. Llama ate all the pie. And that's how our story ends. Hmm. A full week of adventures. The world is destroyed. They end up in a black hole and he's ended up eating pie. If you were to write a sequel, another story to this, what would it look like? You can use um, your paper and some crayons and markers and whatever art supplies you might have at your house. You can tell me all about it and we can work together. I'd love to hear your story about what happens next in Mama's Adventures. So you um, can email that to me, or if you're in Flipgrid, you can just record right underneath this video. I'll see you soon.